My name is Conrad Baumert. I'm with Valley Church's United Mission. We thank the City Council of Scotts Valley for dedicating the garden for, in the name of Annette Markham, the founder of Valley Churches. We'd like to extend a special thank you to Dean Bustiki, who spearheaded this program with the support of Scotts Valley City Council. On behalf of Annette Markham and Valley Churches, I want to thank Scotts Valley Chamber of Commerce for this great honor in her memory. Hi, my name is Kristen Kosner. I'm with Team G Childhood Cancer Foundation, also known as Team G Foundation. And I'm Adam Kosner, also one of the co-founders of Team G Cancer Foundation. And our foundation is here to support families and research for childhood cancer. Adam and I started this foundation, Team G Childhood Cancer Foundation, after our four-year-old daughter at the time was uh, diagnosed with childhood cancer. She is now six and a half and doing well and we got a lot of support from the community. We'd like to thank the local businesses, uh, including Circle Friends Preschool, Vine Hill Elementary, Brook Knoll Elementary, uh, My Scotts Valley Page and Seagate, and so many more for supporting us during this journey. And I'd also like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for the, uh, the honor of awarding us the uh, Organization of the Year. And I'd like to thank um, the whole community. You know, the community of Scotts Valley really supported us while our child was going through uh, cancer treatments. And now that we've started this foundation, we've had un unparalleled support from, uh, from the rest of the community. So we're very, very thankful. We are honored to be a part of this community and be named the Organization of the Year. So thank you and continue supporting us. My name is Ayan Patel. I'm a full IB student at the Scotts Valley High School. Um, I've been volunteering at the Senior Center for about four years, since freshman year. And I've been helping in the computer lab. I've been setting up um, programs and updating the computers. I've been creating a curriculum um, to teach the seniors. I go in, I help all the seniors um, with any questions they have. I enjoy working at the Senior Center um, and I teach the seniors um, from anything from computers, tablets, to smartphones. Since I'm really into computers um, and technology, another thing I've been helping out with at the, in the community is Music at Sky Park. Um, I help set up the sound equipment and I also work a booth. I just want to thank everybody in the community and the chamber for um, choosing me for receiving this award. I want to thank my family for giving me support throughout my uh, four years for volunteering and for everything that they do. I also want to thank uh, Darshana Kroskri for nominating me for this award and everything she does at the Senior Center. Um, thank you. Hi, my name is Linda Benko and I'm the Women of the Year this year for the Scotts Valley Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's a huge honor and a privilege to be able to represent the community in this aspect. Um, I've been in the community for about 35 years and we've had four children that have prospered and come through this system and this community. And uh, I've always felt that if, if you benefit from an organization that you should contribute to helping that organization succeed. So I've been involved in numerous uh, volunteer organizations from the elementary school through the high school, uh, usually in the aspect of being treasurer. I think I've been the treasurer of almost everything you can be the treasurer of in Scotts Valley. So uh, starting in the elementary school and the middle school and then in the high school, I was the treasurer of the Falcon Club. Um, I've been the treasurer and am still a treasurer of the Ed Foundation and Kiwanis uh, Boy Scout Troop 604. So I've got sort of my finger in all the financial pies in town. Uh, it's been a real privilege to, to be involved with these organizations. I think as, as each organization gets on my radar and I become familiar with that organization, I'm amazed at how many people are making it all happen and that the people, so many behind the scenes who uh, aren't looking for kudos, uh, they're just looking to 
do a good job and, and make the community a better place for our children and our, our families that live here. I'd like to thank the Chamber and the community for this huge honor. Uh, it's very humbling when I look at the list of people who have achieved this award previously and I'm sure many more in the community that are deserving of the same honor. So I want to thank the community and the businesses and the individuals that I've worked with through the years. And it's a huge honor. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, this is Robert Aldana with the My Scotts Valley Facebook page and MyScottsValley.com. What an honor it is to really be here and just accepting this award. There's so many reasons why it's such an awesome award and why it means so much to me. And one of the first reasons why is because when we do the things that we do, and I think that if you were to talk to all of the recipients in the past who have won the award and all the recipients in the future who will win the award, not just the man of the year, but so many different organizations of the year, women of the year. If you talk to them all, they'll probably tell you that it's an award that's surprising because all you're doing is just doing something you truly love and really believe in. And that's where I'm coming from. So to be honored and to be named as man of the year, it, it, it's fantastic, incredible. I just never thought that um, me being able to do the things that I truly love doing and I have a passion for, and I do have a passion for serving our community, it's one of the greatest honors that I could really have. So I am really, really appreciative of the Chamber for this award, for the acknowledgement um, of the work that we've put in and with the My Scotts Valley Facebook page at MyScottsValley.com because when we first started on this journey when we first started this particular project it was one of those things where you know we just wanted to make a difference in our town and I'm hoping and I'm seeing that it has made a difference and I think more than anything it's it's allowed us to all kind of come together because uh, you know with this whole world we're all going 100 miles an hour we tend to kind of go our own ways and so forth and it's kind of cool to be able to all of us collect collectively get together and do things together, support each other, be there for one another, and that's what I think is one of the coolest things. But the crazy thing about it is, and the wonderful thing about it is, this award should really go to everybody else because if it wasn't for all of you who are part of the My Scotts Valley uh, Facebook page and MyScottsValley.com, the whole theme, and if it wasn't for everybody who's really bought into this project, it wouldn't be what it is. So really this award I dedicated to all of you in all reality because you know, without all of you, uh, we wouldn't be able to succeed as a community. That's why I always like to capitalize the unity in community because there is no community without unity. So thank you so much to the Scotts Valley Chamber. Thank you to all of you who um, have given me your support for the accolades that I can give right back to you. Thank you so much. Um, it is truly an honor and a privilege to serve you and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Hello, my name is Marlene Flannery and I've lived in the area now about 60 years. I started at the uh, Senior Center, oh, 12, 14 years ago and gradually got into the uh, volunteering, mainly in the kitchen. And from there, it's kind of involved a little bit, little bit of everything. And I sure couldn't do it without the rest of the volunteers. They're wonderful. We have people who come in from the age of 13 on, and they do a lot of good. And the main thing to me is what I get out of it. It's wonderful. So anyone that can help, come on in. We can use you. Uh, and I'd like to thank the chamber and all the residents of Scotts Valley for this honor. It's really something to me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Beth Hollenbeck, and I'm the music director at Scotts Valley Middle School and High School. I have band and choir at both the middle school and high school. I teach music appreciation at the middle school garage band, which is a music composition course. And I also have a music production and recording arts class up at the high school where we have a recording studio. It has been four years now, going into my fifth year, that I've run this program, and it has been absolutely incredible to work with so many, so many talented young musicians. When I started, I had about 90 students in the program. I have about 160 students taking music classes now, and it definitely keeps me on my toes. I go between four classrooms on two sites, 
and I'm pretty much running all week long and then I do a lot of honor choir, honor band, festivals, football games, rallies, the band and choir perform out in the community a lot. So in addition to the school hours, we're doing a lot of things outside of school, which is what I feel I've brought to the program is that musicians need to learn to be a part of the community, that they can be a part of the culture in our community, and that it's part of their gift is to be able to share their talents outside of the classroom. Again, I just wanna thank you for the honor of being Educator of the Year. This has meant so much to me that everybody has recognized the arts and in particular music as a very important part of our students' education in this district. As one last plug, I'd just like to encourage everybody to continue to have music in your life and to continue to participate in all the wonderful musical activities that are happening in our community. Most importantly, those that are happening at the school levels and just encourage our young students into the arts and into music classes. Thank you so much. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rosanna Herrera and I'm the owner of Bruno's Barbecue. Bruno's was established back in 1997. We were originally in the Safeway Shopping Center and we recently in 2010 moved over to the Kings Village Shopping Center. Thank you to the Al family for accommodating us uh, at that time. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for this uh, prestigious award. We are truly humbled myself and all my staff at Bruno's. Thank you, thank the community uh, for all your support throughout the years. All the Little League teams, the soccer teams, Scotts Valley High, the middle school, Vine Hill, Brook Knoll, uh, all the uh, elementary schools in the district. All these families continue to support Bruno's which allows us to continue to support the community. And without the community support, we couldn't continue to do what we do. So thank you very much, and I hope you're enjoying your meal this evening. <laughs>